Hello to all my friends out there. The food is ready. I could have used a few more minutes, but the video has to start now. So I'm making um, Italian tonight. I make risotto with ham and peas. Okay, let me move over here and show you what's going on. I've never made this. I'm really excited. So this is the last, the last uh, meal of the week. And so what I had here was, I had, it's supposed to be baked, but I'm making mine on top of the stove. And I had chicken broth, I had long grain rice, and I cooked it until the chicken broth was pretty much cooking down. Ooh, this looks good. Then I had um, half of a, um, one of those canned hams, so I put that in there when the rice was almost uh, done. So I had a prepared chicken broth. I had this in the stockpile. I had, you know, the rice that I, I bought the long grain rice. I think the good rice is a real, a real good idea on this. Ooh, 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 ooh. let me check my, uh, Okay, good. Sorry, my garlic bread. I forgot about it. So I I just bought this stuff at the 99 cent store. I find it to be good. And so um, it was supposed to be some frozen peas. There's nothing to this stuff. So I had canned peas, you know, in the stockpile. They're good enough. And then uh, when it's done, you're supposed to add Parmesan cheese. So I had this this uh, grated, and I looked it up, and and some of them said no, you cannot substitute grated for real. And I I kept looking, and they said okay, you can substitute a three quarter cup of the dry stuff. I mean it's not as good, but you know I wasn't planning on it for one quarter cup. So I'm going to add. It calls for a quarter cup for a whole recipe. So I'm gonna add uh, I'm gonna add about an eighth, an eighth cup. I think that that'll be enough. Oh, this looks good. I've never made this. That's not Italian. You know, I was gonna make spaghetti or lasagna. I wanted to save this for um. Um, for a casserole night or a, ri a rice night, but I got too excited. So, and then it calls for uh, one tablespoon white vinegar. So we'll add about, that's a small tablespoon because this isn't exactly a whole, ooh, this looks good. And then today I went through all the trouble to uh, dehydrate my parsley. Here it is. I think it turned out pretty good. Look. So I'm going to add some to my risotto, even though the rest, my apartment smells so good, you know, with all this food. Okay, so no, 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 no. You're supposed to let that set for five minutes. I better get my garlic bread out. Take a look at this. Yummy, yummy. Usually I burn it when I try to do this, but... Uh, it comes out so much better if you uh, make it right. So after you put the uh, vinegar in, you're supposed to let it set for five minutes. Okay, so now let's see. So today I was doing this thing and I really liked it too. And it was uh, how small things can make a big difference. So you see I colored my hair so it looks much better, no gray roots. And I did my eyebrows, I shaved my whole body, my feet weren't bad, my hands weren't bad, but they're not done. I need to file them. And so, you know, I was trying to do the queen for a day thing, but you know, it's like your car, if you let it go, it's so much work than if you would have just kept it up, and I never do. What was great, like in the salons, is when 
like several women would let themselves go and they would all come in and one day, yes, I was that kind of hairdresser. I was so glad to see them. I would get them all done too, somehow. Okay, so let's see what happened here. This is the first time I've made this, so maybe some of you with experience will be saying, oh, you're Rhoda, your, your rice is kind of gluey. Yeah, that is true, but, uh, you know, this is my first attempt, so I think that this is pretty good. So, here you have it. Oh, this looks good, you guys. Take a look at this. Okay, now, 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 I'm going to give you the recipe. So, all you need is, is a chicken broth, a ham, I think bacon would be good, Rice, frozen peas probably would have been better. Shaved Parmesan probably would have been better, better, and vinegar. And then I added my own parsley. So, now, I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, I'm liking this uh, small, small joys thing, doing small things, and, you know, it makes a big difference. And so, you know, I was doing the, um, the minimizing, and so it's very hard for me because I have, like, collections. This is a small button collection, but this is not the only one I had. And so, you know, I collect stuff. Like, this is a cute little coin thing that was in my button collection. And, and the rule on the minimizing is you haven't used it for six months. But, but you guys, look at this cuteness. This is a clock button. See how it's a little clock? And then I, I've just got a whole bunch of buttons that are cute. And so, you know, they add to the clutter. I also have a baseball card collection and I have a spoon collection. So, you know, in this pursuit of minimizing, I'm trying to decide what to do. So far, I don't want to get rid of my collections. And they're very bulky. Here's my meal plan. See, we got through all the meals, you guys. Now, let me taste this. I've never tasted, I'm sure it's good. I mean, basically it's ham and rice. Why I'm excited is it's a rice meal. So let's try this. It's cheap enough too. Especially because I use leftover ham would have been great. I use, I had half a frozen ham. I still have, I use one quarter of those small hams. So let me try this. That is good. I love it. Now, I found this um, plant food curbside. Someone threw it on the ground and I picked it up because what I did is I um, cut back my plant in the front and it's growing in the front of my yard. I'll show it to you pretty soon so you can see its improvement and it's coming along nicely. So I'll give it some flower food and I have some mint tea. And then, this is why, like, hoarders hate minimizing. Okay, I throw all of my um, plastic containers away. Now i got to find something to do with the rest of my um, parsley. Oh, I'm liking this. So I have rosemary and mint, and I swear these have grown since noon. Take a look at them now. Okay, you guys, please. Oh, wait a minute. Nine minutes and 16 seconds. I got to talk to you for 40 more seconds and it will be easy for me. And guess what? Like what? When, I, I, when I'm talking to you guys, I usually have something to say. Oh, I didn't turn my waterfall on. I went through a, a lot of hell to get this thing. This is for the feng shui. You guys, try the feng shui. You will really like it once you get the hang of it. 
Uh, the kitchen. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, the kitchen is the worst room to feng shui, so I didn't know that, so I started in the kitchen. The kitchen is also one of the worst, uh, worst rooms for minimizing. That I did know. You guys saw my video. But one of my bad rooms was um, my bedroom because that's where my clothes are because I sell clothes and I also buy clothes. Like I bought this blouse at a thrift store. I buy clothes or nothing. Clothes out here are cheap as dirt. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.